Hello, and welcome to episode 18 of Ken Plays Crash Landing. Uh, in between episodes, I got a whole bunch of seeds, made a whole bunch of plastic, turned that into a whole bunch of capacitors and transistors, and we can continue where we left off last time, making some more machines. So, I was looking up something else here. We're going to end up making a bunch of pulverizers. First, we've got to make a bunch of these. I'm just going to make them all. Uh, let me get rid of those real quick. My inventory's going to fill up otherwise. Uh, we're not going to make nine pulverizers, in case you were wondering. And I need... I don't think I have... I've only got five. Plenty now. Okay, now I should be able to make these. Yes. Just make... Oh, I probably shouldn't have made all that many because they don't stack. And, yes. You can't do that. Electrum. Invar. Glass. I guess we'll just make all machine frames, because those do stack, and I don't want to have all these logic, what are these, logic cards? Hello. Excellent. Okay. And we should, let's see, we're going to need some pistons. One, two, how many we're going to make? I think, let's just make three pulverizers to start. Because I don't think we're going to be really going full speed yet. And I was going to put these... We, we had talked about several times we were going to set all these up out here. Well, there's actually... Man, I'm getting a little lag there. There's actually no reason to. So, man, it's like really bad. I don't ever have that many problems. Um, so what we're going to do is... Let me just stop for a second. I don't know what's going on. All right, let's try this again and see if that speeds us up any. So we've got three pulverizers here. We're going to input... Let's just to make them all the same. Input on the top and output on the bottom. Okay. Now we've got to set that up. And, yes, I was in something else here. We're going to create a new command group. And what's this going to be? Our pulverizers. I guess. Sure, why not? So what we're going to do, we're going to have three different ones, I think. One for each pulverizer. And I'll do all this off camera, but... The first one's going to input from the barrels, and it's going to send cobblestone to the pulverizer. The next one is going to... Um, I guess actually there'll be six, won't there? Be a little confusing. These all have an input and output. So we'll send cobblestone from the barrels to one pulverizer and... Or get... Uh, man, let me explain this again where it makes sense. The trigger doesn't do anything, it just runs it. We're going to get cobblestone from the barrels, and we're going to send it to a pulverizer and make gravel. Then we'll get gravel from that pulverizer and send it back. Here, we're going to get gravel and make uh, sand, and then we'll send sand to the barrel, and here we'll get uh, sand from the barrel and send it to the pulverizer to make dust, and we'll get dust and send it back. And so we'll end up making um, all of them. So let me do that off camera and possibly not use these three triggers, and then we'll be back. All right, I got the first one set up here. We'll go upstairs and check it. We should be pulling cobble, sending it to the pulverizer. It's going to then try to pull whatever's out of the bottom slot, which is usually going to be gravel, but occasionally you get that secondary output, and it's going to send it over here. So we should be making uh, gravel. Let's wait here a second. Yep, we're making gravel, and occasionally it'll kick out a sand. And as you can see, it's running. So it's going to try to pull both of these out of the bottom. So whether it's gravel or sand, it'll go to that barrel. So now I'm going to set the other two up real quick. 
This should be all set up now, so we're doing the same thing. We're turning cobble into gravel, and then we're going to pull gravel into the second pulverizer and turn it to sand, and then the third one's going to get sand and make it into dust. Now, because there's just one of each, we're not going to end up with any sand or gravel building up. All we're going to end up with is dust up here, which is fine because I don't have enough resources. And it should be pulling the gravel. It's not. Okay. So, um... Obviously, something's broken. Uh, we're just going to be making dust for the moment. I don't have enough resources. What I really need is three pulverizers making gravel, two making sand, and one making dust. All right, let's see what I did wrong here. I did all barrels. I did target down. I did blacklist so it can pull anything out of the barrels. And it's going to go to the second pulverizer, yes. And it's going to be target up, and it's going to be whitelist gravel. Don't know why that wouldn't work. Oh, they're all running, though. Something else is happening. Maybe they're not running. Oh, you're making dust. Interesting. How's the gravel building up? That doesn't make sense. Let me figure this out. Okay, I just fixed it. We're having some really weird issue. It showed a picture of gravel there, and it showed 30-something. When I pulled them out, I got dust. So there was dust in there, and there was dust in here, and there was nowhere for the gravel to go. So as soon as I pulled the gravel out, or pulled what showed as gravel, and it came out as dust, and then I put actual gravel in there, then it started working. So let's hook these other ones up. I don't know how that could happen. I mean, some kind of glitch there that the barrel would show gravel and be full of dust. So we should pull all the gravel out and make sand, and then it should pull the sand out and make dust. So basically everything up here should just be dust. So we should see this going down, and it is. Oh Well, technically it's going to stay the same, because it's making... You might even see the sand come up and go down from 0 to 1. But technically, we're just going to keep building dust. We're not going to build anything else. Let me go down this other elevator. Yes. Should be pulling everything, everything, everything. Excellent. So we're just making dust. And we're going to gain on dust, and we're not going to gain on anything else. So I need another pulverizer to make um, sand. And there'll be two making sand and then one of the sand will go to dust, and the other one will build up, and then I would need three uh, making gravel from cobblestone. The only problem with that is I really don't have that many resources to make that much, so we're just going to start with dust. It would have been easier to start with gravel, uh, but we're going to start, and then it's going to get easier as we go, and so all I've got to do is program, instead of dust from here going to there, we're going to program it to pull dust from the barrel. So let me go do that real quick. Okay, I just switched the gold chest to all barrels, which technically is going to also grab some other stuff. Yeah, because I had already whitelisted in there that it could take gravel, sand, um, or dust. So these should all pretty much be empty. If it's fast, it's going to be able to send it down and pulverize it. If it's not fast, it's going to end up out here. So we're going to end up with kind of all different things in here, which, is, you know, it's okay. No big deal. Um, so this is our first start. So now we're just going to be making resources. We're going to have stuff going down there and getting smelted and coming back. And I don't have to do anything. We've got three pulverizers running downstairs, which are pulling uh, 40 RF a tick. So that's 120. Yes, they, that's 120. We've got the grinder upstairs. I'm not 100% on. And I need some food. Let me go check this first, though. So I think, though, we've got enough power down here, because each one of these is 80, right? So that one's doing 4, so he's not doing anything. That one's making 80, this one's making 43, and he's at 4. So we've got lots of power left. We should have enough power to run two more uh, pulverizers. We really need, like, what did I say? 3, 4, 5, 6, so we really need three more pulverizers. Um, I want to get a few more resources together first, but we're off to a good start with that, at least. So I'm making resources, and I don't have to do anything. And eventually we'll get it expanded to where we're doing sand, gravel, and dust, and we can have a couple sieves out here, because I don't think this is going to be fast enough. Um, I'm not sure, though. It might be fast enough for now, but definitely when we have three more pulverizers, it's not going to be fast enough. I'm still getting lag. I don't know when that started. It just, like, happened. So that's the first part of what I wanted to get done, is uh, 
get our resources going. The other thing I want to do is finish, I think we can finish this quest here. All we have to do is build the glacial precipitator. I can't back out of that for some reason either. So let's check on that. It'll be nice to wrap up something. At least I think we'll be done after that. Uh, gosh, I could pretty much make this right now except for snow. Did I have any snow? I don't think I did. I almost feel like I got some at some point. Oh, look at that. What a coincidence. Exactly what we needed. I can make this. Do I still have that frame? Yes, I've got the frame. I think I had a piston. Oh, looky there. That was pretty easy, huh? Hi, Gollum. Can't claim my reward, though. Oh, there it goes. Yes? I don't know what's happening. Claim my reward? Unclaimed reward. Claim my reward. Do I pick? No. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, my inventory's full. Yeah. That's the problem. Let's get rid of this thing. And, uh, what's it doing? It's just making snow? Doesn't it need water to do that? Let's clear some inventory out first. That, that, this, this, the flint, the gold, and our iron, cobblestone. I'm just throwing the trash. It's not worth keeping. All right, now let's try to claim the request. Oh, look at that. Got four water and high golem. So we'll put the water in here, I guess. Oh, it's cold water. Yeah, whatever. It can sit in there. So are we done with this? All quests completed. Yay! So what are we going to do next? We could probably knock out a couple of these. I think that one's going to be a little bit uh, to get into. Uh, definitely not ready to do that yet. I think probably the next thing we're going to be looking at maybe is this creating life thing. Um, I want to check this real quick. Let me eat and then we'll go check the... Man, I gotta do something about this lag. I don't know what happened. Just wanna make sure everything's going good out here. Of course, we're nowhere near taxing how fast that thing can go with just one setup here. You can tell we're definitely getting gravel because we've got gravels of everything. There's not four of anything, so that's good. Excellent. Cobalt, yep. We'll have to set that up once we get four of them, because we never set Cobalt or Ardite up. Alright, let me pause for a minute here. Okay, I started looking here. I actually can make these other three. There we go. I would, I was, I forgot we had enough machine frames to make everything. All I kept thinking was, I'm almost out of Invar and Electrum, and I'll have to make a bunch more. But, that didn't matter, because we only needed that for the machine frame, not the machine. We'll be, uh, one space short here. Wish the elevator wasn't there. We could... Maybe stick this in here. We'll have to get some inventory cable. And uh, I'll be able to do that from below. Okay, I don't have any inventory cable. I think I used the very last one. Oh, but I can steal it back because I don't want to stop to make one inventory cable. I was going to set this trash can up. Let me just do this. I was going to set that up to send uh, some of the stuff I know I don't want to it automatically, and I just never finished. That's okay. Uh, oh. oh, right here, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take the program for this and add two more pulverizers, and then the program for this and add one more. So let me do that off camera, because probably people maybe are getting sick of seeing all the Steve stuff. I don't know. Let me uh, do that. Okay, I think I got this set up now. I'm going to turn all of these back on. We should see all six going. By all six, I meant four. Uh, why isn't that one going? What are you doing? All right, let's uh, 
Let's do this a little more methodically. Okay, cobble to gravel. We've got three of them making gravel, so we should be building up gravel. I've got a bunch of stuff here in my inventory. I just want to dump out dust, sand. So we should be building up gravel quicker than it can send it. Oh, well, you know what? We can't because this thing's got room to... Uh, build everything up. Anyhow, there's three of those. Why is that other one going? Um, okay, so you should stop. So three of them are going, and we're making gravel. We should turn gravel to sand and sand to dust. I think the problem is it's just, it's sending too much to the um, autonomous activator. Gravel, gravel, sand. Let's see if this builds up. This should build up pretty quick. It definitely shouldn't be able to keep up. Not with six of them going. And this, yeah, this should stay zeroed as long as that's not full. Okay, let me uh, pause for a minute here and see if this builds up, and then we should start building all three resources. I've been watching this for a while. We are slowly building up, which is what I would expect. And what I want it to do is I want it to build up enough that we get a bit of a supply of dust and gravel and sand because, you know, occasionally I need sand to make glass or gravel if we want to make more concrete. And I don't really use dust for anything, but, you know, we want a little bit of that built up. And then what we'll do is we'll get another sieve and some autonomous activators and um, we'll try to get it balanced. Uh, so, but we're doing good. We're starting to get some resources in. I can't really tell you what we got or what we don't have. I know that a few minutes ago we had 150 something iron and I don't really have any idea about anything else. And the other thing is I went down to check our power because we've got these six running continuously and the three of these are maxed out at 80 and then the fourth one is running about half. So we've got four and we're running about three and a half's worth of power. So that's fine. If I went out and turned the tree farm on, or if I started doing a bunch of stuff here with these machines, I'd probably be in trouble. So we're going to need a little more power gen. Um, I'll be interested to see. We've definitely been going up on the gunpowder. I'll be interested to see now with all of these running continuously. If our gunpowder keeps going up, I'll build another um, dynamo for down there. If it doesn't, we could still look at the ender pearls. We got that ender pearl thing, but man, I just, I don't have that many ender pearls. I mean, I, if I had, you know, a couple thousand, I'd think about it, but I haven't hardly used any ender pearls, and that's all we have is 400, which maybe sounds like a lot, but I don't really think it is. So we're just going to keep an eye on the gunpowder here, and I'm going to keep an eye on this, and once this is built up, like I said, we'll make some activators when we come back, um, and then I'm just going to wait to see on the power. So I'm going to just wait a bit here and see, then we'll decide what we're going to do next. I've been watching our gunpowder here, and it's pretty much hovering. It goes up to maybe 50, 72, and then drops down to maybe 50, 65. Um, pretty much is almost dead stable. Um, you know, we don't get um, the creepers consistently, so you might get several and then not get any for a while, but it's pretty much staying like we're making as much as we have, uh, as we're using. So I decided we're going to go ahead and make another one of these, which means we'll probably have a little bit of a net loss. Um, of course, we're not using this except when we have more power drain, so it's not going to be much of a net loss, especially since we have already 5,000 of them. So we'll stick that in, and oh, i got to program it right. And that'll just give us a little extra, so if I turn on the tree farm or anything like that, uh, we want to have plenty. So we should be able to go in here, give you mob essence, and go in here, and give you gunpowder. And we're doing real good on mob essence, which is good because we need that for other things in the future. So there you go. Let me go all the way back up. 
So I think we're good to go on power for a while. Uh, we're going to have some more machines in the future. I think that's going to be able to keep up because a lot of these machines we don't use consistently. So every once in a while you use them, so that's fine. So the other thing I want to do, we are building up on these. Uh, so I want to make some more autonomous activators. And we'll have to make a sieve. Let's make the sieve first. I think that's pretty simple. Need a bunch of wood and a bunch of string. We've got lots of both. I probably didn't have to get oak wood. I probably have some wood in the thing, but that's okay. Make some sticks. That's not a stick. Get a couple of these and one of those. Okay, there's your sieve. Let me get rid of this stuff. Put this back and then we're going to make the autonomous activator. So, 10, chest, machine frame, servos, sear brick, glass. I need some, probably some more redstone. Just have a stack. And um, machine frames. And I need some wood back for the chest. I don't think I have any chests, no? Okay. Um, we've got two machine frames, so we're going to make two. What do I need? Seared brick, glass, yes. Two of those, right? One per, yep. And ten. I did not grab ten. And there you go. So two of those. And I made some more inventory cable, as always. Let me grab something to eat. I've been still trying to eat the food out of here just to use it up. Go out here, and so we're going to set the sieve somewhere. I could set it right next to it. Um, I can't think of any reason why I shouldn't do that, so let's do it, and then we'll figure out the reason why I can't do it. I need to be quick with this, because we're going to have water pouring out. And there's that, and there you go. I don't think that caused any problems. Okay. So what we'll do here... Let me see. Which one was the problem last time? It was the one on the other side. Which I can't really get to. I should have just walked to the other side, probably. Let us... So this one I'll just have two for now. Um, actually, it wasn't this, was it? Because I could see that. It was the bottom one that was the problem. Redo. Alright. Um, there you go. Because I can see those, because I know where the back is. We see the square, and there you go. We are going to do inventory cable. Let me fill dust in. Oops. And we're going to do the same thing we did with this one to this one. So we are going to be 215. No, we're going to be. Negative 178, and this is, yeah, 215. 215, negative 178. And who remembers what that was under? Civ? No Civ. Oh, wait, autonomous activator. 215, 215, negative 178, and that's at Y65, and this one's at Y65. So if we go back upstairs, we should have a bunch more stuff in that one. We have nothing. Oh, you know why? What side was this one set to? It's set to input on the bottom. Input on the bottom. There you go. And the way I did the other one, oh, that's funny it did it like that. I went in here and manually uh, did dust, gravel, and sand, so it's pretty funny that it did it that way. 
So we should be getting them pop out of bow. How do we get stone? That's weird. Know how to explain that? Um. Okay. We could build um, another activator. I'd have to make another machine frame. It's really not worth it. We technically didn't have to make that one. I just wanted to get really the resources pouring in. So when I start making stuff, and of course that's down, but that's because, yeah, see, look, we're at 206, and what's this at? Ooh, see, oh no, because it had to send a stack of 64, so that's fine. Okay, so we got both of those things done. Um, I think we're doing pretty good on resources. Let me pause here and empty my inventory out. I just came over to check on this. One of the things I was worried about was it sending a weird amount and getting stuck. And I, as you can see, we've got four of them that are stuck, so I'm going to have to try to fix that. And I just told it to send whatever. I could have specified, I think, is it one bucket? I'll have to check on that. Um, I believe I can fix that, though. Uh, the important thing is, as I was standing here watching this, I just kept seeing ingots, 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 so... We are making quite a few resources here. Quite a few. Lead. I don't remember what some of these were. I really would like some more diamonds and emeralds. Those are obviously just a little more rare to get. We've still only got one cobalt, and I haven't seen any ardite yet. I thought we'd have some ardite by now. That must be really rare. Um, so let me fix that real quick, because that's bothering me. We have one minor problem over here, and I thought this might happen. Now that we're running a lot more resources, it's really starting to happen. It sends a weird amount, not quite enough to fill up, and then it's going to sit there until just random chance the correct metal tries to go into that exact table, and it happens to be exactly enough to finish the ingot and no more. So we're going to have to fix that. I just went and shut it off, so the deep tank should be... Oh, well, it's, it's going to go down into those tanks. Yeah. That'll hold for quite a while, though. Let me eat again. I'm going to eat something more filling this time. That's the only problem with the little food is it does not last. So what we're going to have to do here in order to fix this is, unfortunately, I had it set to pull out of current tank, so it's whatever tank it's on, and then it just outputs to all the casting tables, and they're both set to blacklist. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to change it to whitelist, and we're going to have to do molten, and I'm hoping these aren't... ...21, because I don't think we have... Oh, well, yeah, so those weird ones. Okay, so what I'll have to do here, I'll just do all our diet, even though... I think one bucket. We'll have to test this. What's one bucket? Let me go test that. All right, I'm cooking up a shiny ingot, or otherwise known as platinum. So 144 millibuckets is one... I can get out of it. Is one ingot. So 144, so not a bucket. I would started to do that, and I thought, no, that doesn't sound right. So we will set... Liquids, Ardite... 144, zero, no, <laughs> not 10, zero. Okay, so I'm going to set all of these. I lost my place. Silver, specify amount, 144, zero. So let me do this real quick, because I know you don't want to watch me type this into all those metals. I've got that all set up. I realized I should have broke these um, to get the metal out of here. And of course, when I break it, it's going to reset the thing anyway, so I didn't start it yet. And one more. Put these back, put that back. Okay, they're all empty. Yes, yes. All right, let's go turn that back on. And it should descend exactly one ingot worth of metal, regardless of what metal it is. And we should not have that problem again. So let's go out there and see. What we've got going. Of course, it's going to be hard to tell because it was working fine before. It just took a while before it messed up. Nope, okay. 
So we'll keep an eye on this. Um, it's probably going to run for a bit here because all these tanks built some stuff up, I imagine. Yep, that one's still got a thousand, a thousand, twelve hundred. 1100. Yeah, so we got quite a bit there. So that's going to run for a while. I think we're pretty much to the wrapping up point. I don't want to start anything else this late in the episode. It might be just a little bit early, but I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode. What I wanted to get accomplished this episode, we actually got done really fast, and I didn't want to start on what I wanted to do next episode. And what we're going to do next time is we are going to definitely do these two. I don't know about this one, but we're going to try to get this under pressure finished up or very close to finished. And I really want to start on this creating life. I actually have a thing here I could claim, which don't really need that, but hey, I'll throw this in here and, you know, hey, leadstone cell. Cool. Uh, so I'm excited about this. Mob essence. See, we needed mob essence. Uh, we'll get a chicken, and I think I can finally make the hearty breakfast once I get a little meat going. So we're going to go ahead and stop now, and that's what we're going to work on next time is the uh, under pressure and starting to uh, create the life, the creating life quest. So I will see you then.